As some of you may know, I've been on Roblox for a very long time. Coming up in June, I will have been on Roblox for 11 years now. During that time, I've played thousands of games, and a lot of them have been either pretty bad or pretty controversial. I've seen a lot of terrible games, but there has always been one that has stuck out as the worst Roblox game that I've ever played. Some of y'all are probably expecting Meep City, but no, it's not that. For this video, I'm not taking anything of that nature into consideration. Aside from TOS breaking games or other junk, I feel like this is without a doubt the worst game I've ever played, but for reasons you would never think of. And I know I'm not the only one who felt this way because this game was quickly taken down only a few days after it released. This game had a solid build, an active player base, and was taken care of, but gave off something I've never seen since. Weird psychological effects. And you never expect a game like this to be one to make its players feel uneasy or uncomfortable just by playing it. Today we're going to be looking at Dunkin Donuts V5 V2, which I believe is the worst Roblox game that I've ever played. Roblox Dunkin Donuts was at one point one of Roblox's most popular and trolled cafe roleplay groups and was originally owned by now successful UGC creator Jazzy X3. Every now and then Roblox cafes change their building unless they're frappe who have been stuck on the same one for like 6 or 7 years. In July of 2017, Dunkin Donuts released their second new V5 cafe after their first V5 cafe build was sold to another cafe group prior to Dunkin Donuts releasing it. When Dunkin Donuts V5 V2 was released, it became evident that something was seriously wrong very quick upon joining the game. First of all, there was a fighting mechanic, which I absolutely love, but obviously doesn't make a lot of sense for a cafe roleplay game. I remember people weren't very fond of it, but that's not even close to what made this game the worst Roblox game ever. You may have noticed in that clip that the map is extremely grungy and dark and is built like it's some abandoned dirty moldy warehouse. It's definitely a good build for something like a horror game or some kind of darker toned roleplay, but not a cafe game. The moody lighting, worn textures, dirty colors, and cold vibes doesn't really match the overall theme fit for food eating roleplay. Unless you're eating moldy bread in some post apocalyptic mob era Chicago, the visuals of this game made absolutely no sense. Every game you play, you have a psychological response to, whether it be fear, like with a horror game, or excitement with something like Doom Spires. Those kinds of darker, colorless, and worn visuals give your mind a certain reaction that you wouldn't get from bright and smooth visuals. But the audio and staff were all happy though, like you had random pop music accompanying a friendly greeting from your barista. The game was all about fun interactions and good vibes, but the visuals were all gloomy and hopeless looking. The depressing visuals and the good vibe music and staff combined together gave off this really uneasy and upsetting feeling. I don't really know how to describe it, but the game made you feel really uncomfortable and I believe it was the weird mix of happy activity but sad visuals causing it. And this was noted by people in the game too, there's hardly any footage but from what exists there's people saying it was depressing. I guess your mind would respond to the visuals one way, while it responded to everything else a completely different way, which must have led to that off-putting vibe. This whole psychological thing might sound stupid, but trust me, it was legit, and if you played it, you probably know what I'm talking about. It drove people away from the game so bad they shut it down after only a few days of it being labeled as depression donuts. Since then, I've never experienced anything like it. This is really the only time I felt actually uncomfortable playing a game. Like I said, it's hard to describe, but it was legit, and a lot of players dealt with it, leading to ownership shutting down V5 V2. Dunkin Donuts reverted back to their V4 cafe that they had been using since January 2016, until they released V5 V3 in November 2017. These days, Dunkin Donuts has also become abandoned and forgotten after the real Dunkin Donuts copyrighted them, forcing the group to be called Glazen in 2019. It's unreal that some random cafe group would be the one releasing a mind-melting mess like this, but that's really what happened. I strongly believe Dunkin Donuts V5 V2 is the worst Roblox game I've ever played due to it somehow making players feel psychologically uncomfortable.